So I've got a question for the other DMs out there when it comes to D&D, specifically 5e, but um, really any system where NPCs have hit points, you know. What I like to do is when my characters, when my players are in a combat, um, I don't, I, I keep track of the enemy and any other NPCs involved in the combat. I keep track of their HP on my own. I don't really share it with my players. What I'll do is, um, you know, if someone deals a, a, a good hit or deals a significant amount of damage, what I'll do is I'll say like, oh, you, um, after that hit, it looks to you like that, like that enemy is at around 50% health or around 33% health. I don't really get more specific than that because I just kind of want them to have an approximation of how the enemy is doing. And that gives me some freedom for if um, if someone, let's say an enemy has seven health left and someone does a really cool attack that just barely makes it and they deal six damage to it. I might say, oh, you know, you kill that enemy or you defeat that enemy. Um, if it just fits rhythmically and especially if the combat's been going on longer uh, than I would have kind of intended or expected, or I sense that anyone's kind of losing interest, sometimes I'll kind of, um, uh, almost rule of cool it and be like, yeah, you, you know, that hit was good. That totally defeats that enemy. Um, and because again, my players aren't tracking the enemy hit points to the number that can totally work. You know, if they're like, oh, this guy had roughly a third of his hit points left and I dealt a crit, it's like, yeah, it's, that's a kill, and it just kind of works thematically, so. I do that in pretty much all my games. Um, I guess once in a while, if someone, like, deals a, a hit and it it's early in the combat, and I'm like, oh, you know what, they have, like, just a tiny bit of HP left, sometimes I'll give them a number, but usually I don't. Um, I was curious, I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys think about that. Um, what are the pros and cons of this? What are the ramifications? Have you ever had doing this, being vague about enemy hit points, become a detriment to your game? I'd love to hear about that. Um... Or has it ever really helped out? I know for me, it's um, it's it's kind of given me leeway to really control the pacing of my game more and make sure that the combats go on just as long as they're supposed to. Not not too short, not too long. I mean, it can be cool if your players have like a decisive victory over an enemy where you're like, wow, that went way quicker than expected. But um, you know, if a combat's too easy and too quick and it's not meant to be. You can always just be like, oh, let me add in this enemy. This comes out of the out of the shadows and attacks you guys. Or this comes uh, flanking you guys that you didn't notice before. So you can always add in more enemies if a, if a combat's going too quickly. But, um, yeah, when a combat's kind of dragging on and it's like it's clear that your player characters are winning, it's like I find that it's not good to drag that on, you know, and be like, oh, we have to... We have to keep whittling down this enemy until they hit zero HP. It's like, no, like, when someone does a cool hit or casts a creative spell or describes their attack in a cool way, it's like, let it be over at that point if, if it's dragging on, you know? And it's it's totally circumstantial. It's totally based on how that specific combat is going and your party composition and um, the, kind of gauging the player's interest in the encounter overall, so... There's a lot of factors, but I'd love to hear more about everyone's thoughts on it. Let me know what you think about uh, revealing HP of enemies and NPCs to your players during combat. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.